You're not gonna believe this. <clears throat> There's the goal line right there. I've walked four yards. I was getting like a 24 to a 30 signal. And check that out. Well, I'm out here today with a couple of fellas. We got Jason and Mike, yeah, they invited me to come out. We're over at this uh, old school and we got permission to hit this football field. I think the school was built in 1895 and uh, we have this whole football field. So hopefully there's gonna be some silvers, possibly some uh, some rings and who knows what else. But uh, let me turn you around, you can see. Now it's a very old school. We cut the football post in the field. That's how old this is. You can see by the old lights over here and uh, old goal posts. This is an old, old field. So there's no telling what we might find in here, but I've normally find silver coins and modern coins and I find uh, uh, rings. So that's what we're gonna go for. So let's get out there. We're not gonna find anything talking. So let's get to swinging. Let's go have some fun. Well, I think I'm gonna start out right in the middle of the field and go from goal post to goal post. I'm gonna be using my Equinox 800 today for the uh, weapon of choice. We're gonna put uh, uh, ground balance. We're gonna look at volume, we'll leave it there. We're gonna target threshold, won't have any. Uh, accept, reject, will be normal. And I'm gonna change my recovery speed up to a five. We'll do, uh, 20, 2021's good on my sensitivity, and uh, I think we'll just uh, leave it right there. We'll go ahead and noise cancellation because I got two other guys with me, and we're ready to go. Let's go do it. You're not going to believe this. <clears throat> There's the goal line right there. I've walked four yards, and I was getting like a 24 to a 30 signal, and Check that out. I'm gonna call the other guys. It's probably plated. Go, but 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 bring it up, bring it up high like that. It's got to be gold plated silver. So uh, I'm gonna call the other guys over here and let them look at. It. I've got Jason with me. I got Mike with me. And uh, we, so we ain't. I don't know what it is yet. Let's look at it. Let's. Uh, I think it's gonna be gold plated. I see a bunch of. Yeah, it's gold plated. Yeah, it's a ring. But it's a ring. A ring is a ring is a ring. Got a little weight to it. Ooh. I don't know. It may be just a junker. Let me uh, set you up right up here. Let me see if we can get a marking in there. There it is, right there. You got good eyes? I got my Hubble lenses for my, for my glasses. See what that says. There's a there's a kit there's a marking in there. Like nine two five. It's it's ringing up like silver. It's, it, it is nine two five. Yeah, gold plated silver. Gold plated silver, number one target for the day. All right, maybe this won't be a jinx. Maybe this will be a good thing to go. All right. It actually has two maker marks on it, and. Uh, it goes like this. I don't know if you can't read it, but uh, it's one tenth, fourteen karat gold, and it's got a gold shell. So I knew it wasn't pure gold because of the way the outside was. So it's probably a silver, and because uh, it's ringing up like silver, and it's uh, jumping around because it's got that gold plating on it. So it's one tenth gold plated, probably silver. And so, hey, nice find for the first uh, dig for the day. All right, let's keep on going. Jason's calling me over. Says he's got a little bit of silver. Let's go check out, see what he's got. Oh yeah, I see it from here. Yeah. Oh, look at that, man. So we know they're out here. Looks kind of warm too. Yeah. Let's see what uh, date this is. I can't tell. My eyes are worse. <laughs> I can't see. I got glasses on these prescription, but they're no bifocals. Uh, 41 out of Philly. All right. Well, congratulations, man. We know there's silver here. All right. That's a good sign. That's the first silver out of the, out of the yard today. So let's keep swinging. Getting a solid 27, 28. 
and looks like it's got some type of writing on it. It's bent over. Looks like it was a necklace. Might have to try to clean this one up later and see if we can't uh, maybe heat it up and see what is on the inside of this taco. I don't know. That's it's interesting. It's not a quarter. It's bigger than a quarter. But it doesn't have a reeded edge on it, so it's no, it's not a coin. It's got to be some type of a uh, necklace, a uh, medallion. All right, let's keep on going. I finally got a big silver. It's been a while since I dug a big silver. I've found the ring, came down, went back up, came down, and on my way back up this third time. And uh, it was about ringing up a 29 to a 31, but 10 inches deep, very deep. I mean, you can look and see how deep, at least eight inches, at least eight inches. And check this out, guys. Voila, look at the imprint right there. I'm gonna call these other guys over here and get my other camera. We'll get a close up. All right. All right. I called the other guys down here and I want them to see it before I even move it. Yeah, check that out, guys. That's gonna be a 1940. Can y'all see that? 1945? 44, 45. There's the imprint right there. All right. Yeah. It's deep. Check this out, Mike. Wow. There's the imprint right there. Yep. Check that out. Let's see what this is. Get that in the camera frame. 1942. 42. 1942. Yeah, Check that out, guys. I wasn't in your way. 1942. Let's keep on going. Eight inches deep, bringing up a 29 to a 31. It's pretty deep. All right, let's keep on at it. I just dug my quarter right there. Dug a piece of trash right there. Got a solid 12. Popped it up. Just wiped it off. And I got me a buffalo. All right, check that out. I can't tell the date on that one. Definitely a buffalo nickel. I'll take those. I like digging these things. It's probably eating up too much to get a date. I'll clean it up at the wrap up, see if we can get a date on it. All right, let's keep on going. I'm getting a good 30, 32 signal at uh, eight inches deep here. At least a 29 at eight inches. So uh, I'm gonna live dig this one just to see if we can get a silver out of this. All right, let's try this. Let's dig a big, uh, Kind of a big plug. Hopefully it's gonna be a good silver quarter. Well, I don't know if I got it out or not. All right, still down in there. Looks like I missed it. It's gonna be over here on the side. Ah, not gonna be silver. It is gonna be a quarter. Oh well, 19, 1980. All right, Mike just called us down and this is his first silver. Looky there, and it's gonna be a rosy. Won't you pick that rosy up and rub it? <laughs> yes, rub that rosy, man. Oh, there's sliver. Congratulations, oh, man. His okay. first silver coin. Every day. Let's say 1964. It's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby, man. I don't know what I started. I wanted to. Uh, it does not matter. Wow. Hey, you're on the board with silver now. Congratulations, <laughs> man. You. His first silver coin. That's always exciting. All right, let's keep going. Well, Mike's down there. Jason's over there. I'm still up on this end of the field. Just got a, a jumping 20, 12, 27 to a 30 signal. They've kind of been jumpy around here. And right in this area right here, I've dug a lot of wheat pennies too. And thought I was going to dig a quarter. And uh, I see shiny. I see shiny in the hole. All right, it's gonna be a, a Mercury Dawn. Let me get my other camera and we'll get a close-up on it. 
All right, looks like it's gonna be a 1936 Mercury Dime. I'll take that any day. All right, that's four silvers out of here and a gold ring, a track metal and some other stuff. So let's keep on at it. All right, this is gonna be a 31 at eight inches. Thought I might try to just live dig it with you guys. A lot of these have just been quarters, plaid quarters, but I had one that was silver. Those that are ringing up like eight inches is silver. Let's see. Let's see if it's out there. Okay, it's out of the hole. It doesn't sound silver. It'll be a Can't even find it. There it is. Could be a, just a wheat penny. No, nope, it's just going to be a clad dime. That's what you get when you live dig. All right, let's keep going. Right out here next to the football field is a very old building. Big, huge. I don't know if you got chop a tree. That's a red oak tree, I think. Looks like it was a store or, or something. It's uh. Got steps on it. Check that out. I don't know if somebody's fixing this up. It's open. Well, this is a stepping back in time for sure. I was working on it at one time. I don't know what that is. Looks like an old house site. Got the old beadboard. Hmm. They were trying to fix it up. Perhaps it was the jail. Check that out. They got iron bars in here. Huh. Maybe this was the old jail here in this town. Oh well. I wanted to check that out. So, anyway, that's really neat. Talk to uh, these people in the house right there. They say that they believe this was the old post office. And, uh, but this is all part of the school property. And, uh, school over there it's a rock wall school so we're gonna go back over here and now that we know we got permission we can hit this a little bit better all right let's get this well we moved on from uh, that old house over there behind the football field to over here behind the bus barn and we saw this vacant lot it was all mowed see how it has several big trees on it and I'm just right here behind this big tree and I just got a Tootsie Toy. Yeah, that's a good sign that this is old. Yep, still got all four wheels on it. Run, run. Yeah, it looks like a some type of Tootsie Toy. All right, we'll clean it up later on. We'll keep on going. It's kind of hot. We're getting tired today. So we're going to call it a day here in a few minutes. So let's get at all right, it. Well, that's going to call it a day for us. There's Jason in the back. Mike right there. And uh, we had a pretty good day, uh, considering, don't you think, guys? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we dug the mess out of clad for sure, but uh, we still believe there's still a lot more in here. And uh, so we had a good time. So let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, we're going to start out with Jason's stuff right here. And I think he won the penny king of the day for sure. He dug more pennies than all of us combined. And he was digging those nickels and dimes for sure. Got him $4 worth of quarters and... These are your are these your Wheaties? Yes. Got you five Wheaties. Got him some play money. And he dug two things I really like, these track metals. And this one right here will tell you how old it is because when you look at it, if I can get it to focus, it says 880 yards. That's before they went over to the metric system and had an 800 yard. But his best finds are going to be two... Um, what years are those? 1941 and 1926, 27? Yeah. Mercury Dimes. So he had a good good time. There's 
is in Mike's trash uh, right over there. Mike, he uh, he's lead king of the day, <laughs> or aluminum king, but he dug a mess out of clad too. He's got a lot of dimes. He's got, uh, what, $2 and quarters or $5 and quarters. He dug a dollar, uh, Sacagawea. Got one weedy, and his best find is a 1954 Rosie. And what do you think about digging your first dime? That's awesome. I've dug a lot of hoes to get that done. Oh, man, <laughs> you're excited. He got his first silver ever, and uh, it's a rosy dime. Well, now it's, you, you're only going to go better from now on out. Uh, here's my finds. I got one, two, three, four dollars and 25 cents and quarters. I got 14 penny uh, uh, dimes. One nickel here, and then got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve pennies. And there's all my trash over there. I did get some type of metal. I'm going to try to bend that out, heat it up and bend it out, see what it is. Did get a Tootsie toy. Still got all four wheels. And uh, I got Weedy King of the Day. So I got eight Weedies. I beat uh, Jason by three. Mm -hmm. I did get a Buffalo. That's a nice one. And I did get a 42 quarter and a... What was that, a 36 Merc? And I guess my best find is going to be this 14 karat gold-plated ring, which I think is gold-plated silver. And uh, so there it is, folks. There's all the treasure. And there's all the trash. Like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what you can find in a football field at some school. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody a happy hunting, and God bless. Mm -hmm.